At Cedar Creek, we believe that every dollar given to the church goes towards missions. But what does that mean? Traditionally, when we think of missions, we think of third world countries. With our partnership with Great Commission Latin America, international missions are an important part of what we do. GCLA's mission is to plant, develop, and multiply churches in Latin America. Through GCLA, we partner with local churches to provide help and hope in their communities. Over the years, you've volunteered over 100,000 hours through mission trips and given over a million dollars to support GCLA. Because of your generosity, we continue to help build houses, feed children, and provide health care. But it's about more than meeting a physical need. It's an effort to break the cycle of poverty. The CDI, a children's development program run by GCLA, greatly impacts the lives of 640 children every year. By removing obstacles that keep students from school, they provide greater opportunities for the next generation. When the local church cares for the whole family, they can show God's love to their community. Cedar Creek has also partnered with local churches in the U.S., helping plant churches like Rock City in Columbus, Ohio, and Elevate in Erie, Pennsylvania. God has shown up in each community. And across all of our church partners, 2,623 people have gotten baptized. Know that every time you give, you play a part in those baptisms. We also have relationships with local churches across the country that allow us to support communities that need help after natural disasters. We believe God calls us to take care of our own community here locally. Through our partnership with UTMC and the clinic at South Toledo, an average of 50 people per week are provided free health care. While we collectively do many things for our cities throughout the year, one of the most rewarding relationships Cedar Creek has is with Calvin Sweeney and Tabernacle Church. Our vision for the tabernacle comes out of Matthew 5 and 16, where Jesus says to let your light shine before men so that they can see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. And so our, our, our vision is to illuminate our community through bold acts of love so that our community can begin to glorify our Father in heaven. I had an opportunity to go to Honduras with Pastor Lee Powell, and it was our first time meeting. And it was at this Honduras trip that I saw a church really resourcing the community, really letting their light shine in a way that I hadn't seen in my city or even in our country. And while I was in Central America, I remember one night thinking that if this can happen in Central America, it can happen in Central Toledo. I had a meeting with our leadership team and I said, I've seen a church illuminate their community in ways that we haven't. And I said, we'll no longer just be a Sunday and a midweek church. We're gonna be a seven day, 365 days out of the year church. And so we began to look at how we could begin to connect more resources with our community. We don't want to just keep the hope here inside the building. We need to be ambassadors of hope. And so we started going out, you know, block by block, house to house, neighborhood by neighborhood, sharing the love of Jesus Christ. Through our relationship with Cedar Creek and its financial support, we've been able to build out our outreach ministries and provide more hope to people in our community. We've also been able to create better environments in our physical church structure, uh, in, a, in our sanctuary, in our children ministry area. We've been able to create environments where people want to come and worship. When we say every dollar goes towards missions, that includes our weekend service. We believe the local church is the hope of the world. And we are uniquely equipped to provide a weekend experience designed to help people take their next steps on the spiritual journey, moving them closer to the heart of God. Over our 23-year history, we've seen 9,213 baptisms. Currently, there are 17,083 people who call Cedar Creek home. Every invite has the potential to make a difference in someone's life, and every person who walks through our doors has a story that matters. I was 20 years old when I lost my dad. That's when I really started questioning God and if there is a God. And if there is, why is so many bad things happening to me? Why would you take such a great person away from me? I wouldn't pray, I wouldn't go to church. My mom tried to get me to go because she's been diehard Catholic since you know she was a kid. Nick, you gotta go with me, you gotta go with me. I'm like, mom, it's not for me. Obviously, God doesn't want anything good in my life. 
what do you want me to do? What do you want me to say to him? I was doing some shopping at ABC Warehouse. And some guy just started talking. We started chitter chatting, you know, two guys in the electronics section. That was like Christmas for us. He eventually reached in his pocket and he pulled out a card. It was a Cedar Creek card. He's like, you ever been to Cedar Creek? And I said, never been. I've always heard about it, but I don't, it's not my thing. I don't go to church. Threw it in my wallet, kind of forgot about it. And as I'm going through my wallet one day, I picked out the card. And I said, you know what, it's Christmas time. I had all the services on there. I said to myself, let's just go check it out. So we pull up and I'm nervous because I haven't had a conversation with God since probably when my dad died and I asked God, why are you taking him from me? So it was emotional for me to even walk in a church for the first time. We walk in and before we even walk through the doors, we're getting greeted by some of the most amazing people you could ever come encounter with. And keep in mind, these people have no idea who I am. I've never been to Cedar Creek. They don't know my past, they don't know my history. I feel like I, I get judged a lot because there has been times where I kind of get that look. So it's kind of hard to walk in a new place like that, any new place for that, because they don't know who you really are. But they're so welcoming, so loving from the second you even pull in the parking lot and get out of your car. They're shaking your hand and saying, Merry Christmas. And they're not talking to you like you're just another person walking through the door. They're talking to you as if you matter. And they make you feel that way from the second that you walk in. So I go in, we sit down, we get some drinks, of course. And just from the very first song, I knew that I'm home. 30 something years old and it took me this long to be able to call a place home. I think just my whole life kind of came together in just one moment with the first song and tears. Like I wasn't crying, it was weird. It was just tears were just constantly pouring out of my eyes. Ever since I was a little boy, my mom said that I would either sit by the radio or if I saw a band, I would sit as close as I could just because of the music. Now for some people, they just hear a song and they sing along to it, but for me, it's more than that. And then when you shut the music off and Ben comes on stage and he tells his message, it doesn't get any better than that because it feels every single time that Ben is talking to me. When I first started bringing God back into my life, I started asking at night when I would pray, God, what are you able to do for me this week? Now I feel like I tell God, what can I do for you? So it's not only a Sunday service for me, it's a Sunday service where I gain the knowledge. So once I leave there, I can make a difference. Whether it's feeding children in Latin America or offering a weekend experience in Northwest Ohio, everything we do is missions. And we do everything with heart.